Hey everybody, and I'm back. Today is still October the 29th of 2019. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple of you, actually, because I've joined another crochet along, a few of the crochet alongs that I'm in. Um, one of them is actually, um, was set as um, Calendar Cow. Um, and I'm not sure if she put up for October or not, but she had put the main calendar up, so you know you can go back and see it. So I just decided to, to go ahead and do November. Um, and I'm doing the forgive my ends by the way. I'm doing um a shawl or a scarf or however you want to think about it, and I'm doing the moss stitch and um this is the one I used for October. Um, I cannot tell you the colorway because I don't remember what it was. <laughs> um, I've been using scrap yarn. So, and then the black is, you know, where to section it off or whatever. But it's turning out pretty, pretty big too. So... This is where we are so far. I really, really love it. It's going to be a pretty scarf or a nice shawl. And I think I'm going to make another one in the moss stitch because I really like how it works up. I may use a bigger um, hook though, so it'll be a, a different drape to it, but I really, really like it. So, like I said, that was Seta's calendar cow. And that was this section. If you can see, it's got orange and tan. That was for October. Um, and then I also am doing um, um, Happy to Hook Creations. Lisa, I'm doing her classic movie cow. Um, and I'm pretty sure these are all red hearts and I'm doing a corner to corner blanket and one of the colors I chose was royal blue and this is flame I believe if I'm not mistaken yeah you can see it better that way and I believe this is lemon yellow and then to break them off um, I'm doing the white <clears throat> And if you can see that, we're getting close to the corner. This is October, so we have November left and December, and then that'll be the end of the blanket. Because, I don't know if you, um, if anybody's new, you haven't seen it. So, this is how big this blanket is. I can't even put it all in frame. I'll eventually take a picture of it probably outside on my clothesline so you can really see it but yeah that it's a pretty big blanket or I may hang it up on my wall who knows but I guess I'll get a chance to show you guys a better picture of it when I'm done um, but yeah that we're almost done this is our uh, October, like I said, um, in the name of the movie, I'll put it down below because I forgot, but we're getting close to being done. So since these two are almost done, I decided to join in another crochet along or make along, however you want to look at it. Actually, it's a make along and it's um, Llama Mama Kayla and she's doing um, loom knitting and she's doing the um, the circles which is awesome if you know how to loom knit I do not um, and I'm not ready to learn right now honestly so I was looking at it and because um, she shows you a line every Sunday she shows you a different row so it's like a mystery blanket um, she shows you a different row every Sunday. So I'm like, okay, well, that's coming out kind of like a graph type thing. So why don't I see if I can graph it? And so um, 
that's what I'm going to do. I'm doing a corner to corner, but it's the corner to corner um, granny stitch that I always use. Um, I used to like the corner to corner stitch, um, but the granny stitch in the corner to corner, it has now become my favorite. Um, it has a little bit more holes in it than the corner to corner. Um, I don't know. Normally my blankets are so big that um, they hold up. So, um, and they keep you pretty warm. So I really don't need the thickness of the regular one. So this is actually funny because I think we are on, she's on week number four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she's on week number four and I'm on row number four. And, you know, and everybody, I have seen everybody's laid out and, you know, they have all these rows or whatever. And, um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is my four week. And because I'm doing corner to corner, I can't show the rest of it yet because I'm doing it corner to corner. So, um, oh, this is my stitch marker. Let me know. Um, the right side and this is my stitch marker letting me know I'm at the end of a row so my stitches won't come out but yeah this is my progress for four weeks and it cute <laughs> so, so um, with everybody doing the loom knitting um, you know they'll have each row to show each week and I'll only have a section but like I said I love corner to corner so you start in this one corner and it just gets bigger. And then once you hit that one corner, then you start decreasing the same way you do for a regular corner to corner. Um, I really enjoy this now. Seems to be my go-to. Um, but yeah, that's where I am. Um, so if you're looking for a mystery blanket you want to do, a make-along of some kind, um, go and join her. She also has a Facebook group or whatever. So, and that's Llama Mama Kayla, and um, I'll add her to the description box below as well, and that seems to be all of my crochet alongs. Um, I've wanted to join a few more, and I've had to stop myself, because um, Christmas is coming up, and I'm already, I have two secret projects that I'm working on right now for Christmas presents or before Christmas presents or whenever I get done with them. <clears throat> so, um, as much as I want to join these other crochet alongs, I, yeah, it's not humanly possible. I would never get anything done. So that's where I'm up to. Um, but you know, you can join in, have some fun seems to be a thing to do. I love blankets, as you can tell. Um, but that's it for this video. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.